Nighttime in the Philippines. A team of scientists using nets captures a wild bat which receives an impromptu medical screening. Scientists swab the animal's mouth, take measurements, and inspect the wings. What we're trying to, to look into are other strains of coronavirus that have the potential to, to jump to humans. What are these airs that have the potential to be the ground zero for, for coronavirus infection? Bat ecologist Philip Alviola with the University of the Philippines is on the research team studying bats and zoonotic diseases. The very nature of their work puts them at risk of contagion. They use the data collected from health screening bats to create a simulation model. If we know the virus itself and where we know where it came from, we know how to isolate that virus geographically. So we can uh, implement some restriction, travel restrictions. We can prevent city to city, province to province transmission. The model projects how time, climate, and temperature may affect the transmission of disease from bats to humans. The International Union for Conservation of Nature says there are more than 1,200 species of bats and at least 78 of them live in the Philippines. The World Health Organization and others have been studying whether the coronavirus pandemic started in bats because the virus has a similar makeup to others that the flying mammals are known to carry. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.